areas, but she kind of has an answer for a jack of all trades, I yeah. guess. She's got a lot of gadgets. Well, with the robot, I mean. Yes. She, just... she also uses her drone all the time now with various moves. They're kind of like a team. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's it's her buddy. Yeah, it's her buddy. Um, she also uses her gun a lot more now. Mm -hmm. You can see in a lot of her combos. I'm a huge fan of that one. That's so cool. And she has uh, a bunch of special moves using it. Ooh. You can see other combos using it. Yep. How badass is that? So let's go over a few of her key normals. I think her her key, like this is the move you want to use, is her back two. It's a really fast mid that yep. covers a lot of range. It has a thing too. Yep. yep. She ends it in this little shadow kick. And it actually has a crushing blow. Mm -hmm. If only the last part hits, it triggers a crushing blow. So it almost encourages you to miss the first two hits. Yeah, well, it's also a thing where if you're using it in your mid range and you're not doing the third hit because it's unsafe right. and the opponent, you think they're going to try to poke and they get hit by it, it triggers. This is one of the trolliest. It's so fun <laughs> when it hits. And it, it happens a lot. And the opponent always feels dumb and it's super satisfying to do. Having me today. Yep. I felt dumb. Yeah. Uh, she also, her shadow kick is actually not a special move in this game. It's just a normal attack, but wow. it's extremely quick. But it's not full screen like her dad's. Right. She also has back one three, which is her low combo start. Ooh wee. She does not get a huge combo, but this is one of her few pop-ups. And I would imagine getting him in the corner with that too. Like then she can start to get swaggy. Like yeah. PPJ has his swag combos and stuff. Sure. The thing is, she does not have an overhead starter. Right. She, like a lot of characters, has one great overhead and one great low, but the other one they're not so great. Sure. So she can use her hop attack, which is a universal overhead that everyone has. Or she can actually use the second hit of the string if you caught the opponent sleeping. Sure. But she's not going to have an overhead to combo into you. To complement her low, she also has 4-3-4, four, four, which she can combo into one of her special moves. But again, she's not going to have an overhead. So she's not going to be doing these high damage 50-50s like the last game. Sure. But it's still kind of there with her pop attack. And uh, let's go over her base special moves. Yeah. So her gunshot's back, but she uses both. And she can actually have this cool mechanic where she can charge them with energy to do more damage. Shadow bullets. And if she fully charges it, crushing blow. Crushing blow. That's a major Danny. She can also cancel it. So I believe I believe we say eye popping damage. Eye popping damage. <laughs> I apologize. And this is something she can do up close to keep the pressure on. So while you know, again, she doesn't have like damaging 50-50s, she does have strike throw mix-ups and pressure mix-ups. So she's still gonna be really good up close. Another one is an up shadow kick, which is super fast. It's a great combo ender. She can amplify it to drop them back down. This is good damage. And uh, I guess it's time to go into uh, her, oh, I, Come on, I knew I was thinking of something. <laughs> Her low blow. Like, I knew I was thinking of a classic move. Yeah, yeah. it's funny because you I, I saw your brain stop yeah, for I, a second. Yeah, I clearly, like, and then I forgot her, her most <laughs> awesome move. So she literally kicks you in the balls, and then she gets a lot, I mean, she does. And then she gets a lot of, uh, a she lot of an advantage. We say groin. I'm sorry. Crotch. Either one. If she amplifies it, she does the Shinsuke Nakamura, and, <laughs> and uh, she gets the knockdown and big damage. This also has one of my favorite crushing blow requirements. Uh, you hit them with the second one while they're recovering from the first one. Can you do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh. There you go. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> yep. That's just messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Not that easy on stream, is it, to yeah. do though? Now it's time. At least I eventually got it. I got for you, we had to delay the stream for an hour. You're right. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's why we're going long. So today. let's go and do some loadouts. Uh, the first is I gave her a loadout based on gunplay. Mm -hmm. So she has a low gun. This is one I'm a, I'm a huge fan of zoning, so I like this. It's very fast. You know, for straight shots, it takes a lot of startup. So this is more of a quick projectile. Mm -hmm. I also think the amplify is super cool and oh, stylish. That is awesome. Woo! To complement that, I gave her this flip out, this totally wicked flip out, where wicked. it gives her some mobility, it gives her a knockdown. I use it at the end of strings. 
And then lastly, I actually gave her an air shot ability with a really cool amplify that... Oh! This, if you're entering an early online tournament, like a day one tournament, equip this and do this, you're getting like a free 20% in total for people <laughs> forgetting about that. I guarantee. That's a guarantee. We should also go over throws real quick, mostly because of this throw. Jeez. The clothesline, the, yeah. the, the Legion of Doom clothesline. All right, so that's her, her gun kata loadout that I made, Commander Cage. Let's go to another one. This one, I just want to preface, I love this jacket. I, I literally would buy this jacket if I could. All right, all right. Um, so this one, I made a melee, melee one. I, she has this shoulder, which I always use when I play. It's a great combo under, and I absolutely love the Amplify. That's just... Mean. I love how the robot also accessorizes with her outfit. Yes, yep. like, I great. picked this robot on purpose because of that. I'm all in on this loadout, the glasses, I'm super geeking out. Yeah. Um, this is another one of the two player animations that I thought was bomb. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Uh, the second thing I gave her is a more classic flying kick. This goes almost full screen, it's super, super quick. It has a crushing blow if, they, if you're it's a counter hit. So this is kind of a move that you use as like a general check. It's similar to Kano's. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's very similar to a Kano ball or, or a Jade Shadow Kick. It's if you think the opponent's getting antsy, you kind of throw this out and it'll catch them. And you called this totes cool. Absolutely. Okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, and then lastly, I gave her, she has this air escape using her drone. She can use it to get away very quickly or use it to advance. And she can do jump ins off this. So if you've conditioned the opponent not to want to hit a button because they're scared of this, mm -hmm. She can suddenly go in without warning, or actually get away and go into I'm out. her zoning. I, and she absolutely would say, I'm out, I'm out, I'm in, mm -hmm. I'm out. <laughs> so so one, one more loadout? Let's do it, Steve. I'm, I'm thinking like space age futuristic Cassie. Are you like predicting the future? Or? Well, I made it. Right, so, so that's literally what we're about to see. Speaking yeah. of that, right. oh yeah. That's so cool. So this one focuses on her drone. My drone BFF. Yes. Nah. The first move I gave her was her bitch and bubble. Bitch and bubble. This does dot damage while the opponent is in this enormous bubble. You can use this in your block strings. You can just use it while you're zoning, and the opponent's going to have to deal with the bitch and bubble. Bitch and bubble. Minute. Watch out for it. Now, is it always going to um, put the bubble right in front of you, yes. or can you put it in different? Uh, it's always going to be right in front of her. So this is good if they're in the corner sure. or after a knockdown. Just trap them in the bitch and bubble. Yep. While they're stuck in the bitch and bubble, they're going to take a lot of dot damage. Sure. Secondly, she actually has drone control, where she takes out her celly, <laughs> and then she actually gets stance-like moves that she can do from the drone. She has these bombs she can drop. My favorite thing to do <clears throat> is to take the, the electric burst and like push them up the screen. <laughs> like It's so much fun. And at any point, she can actually stop using it, let it go. So again, she actually will have some pressure from that, and then the zoning moves of that. Boom, boom. And I love even just the animations of her with the phone. Yeah, like where she's just swiping. So and you good. can see I can actually have Bitch and Bubble out and use drone control Ooh. while the Bitch and Bubble's out. So that's Cassie. I would awesome. describe her as a versatile, well-rounded character that's going to be not the best combos in the world, not the best mix-up in the world. But she she's strong in any position. In pretty much any the, position. That's, at yeah, least that's absolutely. how I play her. And her abilities, similar to what we said about Kano, very varying play style.